All right, I got another uh, post-recorded replay for you here. This is a game that I played yesterday that was pretty fun. Uh, we are, once again, playing the Daring. This is, has been one of my favorite ships recently. And uh, I'm getting called out over here because I'm bad at the game. But uh, anyway... Uh, first things first, when we're looking at the matchmaking here, threats to my ship, uh, there's only one radar in the Buffalo. There's a Forrest Sherman, Kabarov's Z-52, and a Sashio for destroyer threats, and a U-4501 for submarines. The map is Northern Waters. We spawned up here in a sea cap. I have a div mate with a Marceau, who's not really going to be important this game. Uh, part of it's due to his he's bad at the game. and Well, actually, no. Pretty much all of it's due to he's just bad at the game. So, uh, anyway, we are playing Daring. And my game plan right now is I'm looking to contest for C. When we're looking at the matchmaking, there is no radar to speak of other than that one buffalo. Five battleships I could potentially farm. Uh, the Zayo could be annoying. But uh, depending on where he spawns, uh, which you'll see in a minute, it's not going to be here. So he's not really going to be a threat to me for the immediate future. So what, when I was playing this game, I obviously didn't know what I'm talking about. No, I didn't know that the Zeo is going to be like over down here. Uh, so I was getting ready to try and set up a smoke trap for one of these destroyers. Because I have a buddy over here in a Marceau, which... Uh, is a French destroyer, which obviously does not have smoke being a French destroyer. So what I'm looking at doing right now is I want to get into CCAP and I want to troll whatever ship or more specifically whatever destroyer that spawns over here. I want to troll them into shooting at me. I'll take a little bit of damage from it, but I'm just going to smoke up and I'm going to let my Marceau uh, spot that destroyer for me. And I'm also considering uh, uh, smoking up and shooting at this Ama guy right here. And that's when this cap gets contested. And I'm just going to smoke up. And this is about to be a, uh, a really good moment right here. So this Sherman is about to pop his smoke. And what I want to talk about right now is when you're fighting smoked up destroyers... Uh, don't do what this Sherman's about to do. He's just going to start reversing. You can already see he's uh, starting to reverse there. And actually, no, he's not reversing. There's going to be a that's going to come later. But 99% uh, of people who are going to shoot from smoke, they start reversing in their smoke, which is something you do not want to do because, uh, th th ugh. Because that smoke is for obviously going to be getting torps chucked in it. And most people, when you start to smoke up, they're just going to uh, immediately chuck torps into right where you were last seen. So if you keep uh, if you keep accelerating, those torps are very well going to be behind you. Especially if you full speed accelerate after your, your gun bloom goes back down. And the fact that that Sherman did not... Uh, stop and reverse in his smoke already tells me that he's uh, probably better than your average player at least he's at least capable of rational thought so that's telling me that I need to be careful of this guy and my Marceau is uh, getting griefed over there don't worry about it, it happens all the time and I'm just gonna pop some torpedoes into this uh, smoke because this after all is an American smoke screen so that Kabaros might be wanting to try and take advantage of it. And if he is, I'm going to have torpedoes out for him. That Sherman ends up getting himself spotted. And I do manage to pick him up right there. And if you're paying attention to the minimap like you should be uh, when you're playing the game, you'll see that buffalo just popped up right there. So I'm looking at that guy and I'm like, okay, he's about to walk at me. I need to get out of here and... Uh, well, turns out there's a Kabarovsk right there, which is uh, suboptimal, to say, they, to say the least. I do not have smoke, and I don't have a heal, so I'm just going to have to, uh, to tank this guy and uh, go dark. 
by the way, this uh, mod that I'm running right here is called Shot Timer. It's in Aslan's and I should be in Mod Pack or Mod Station as well. Uh, it's a very useful mod because it's telling you how long you're going to be detected for after shooting. Uh, it's called Shot Timer. It's very useful. And that buffalo did take a torpedo, so I'm going to just open water him and try and get a fire on him. And I'm just also calling a target on him. It's really annoying trying to call targets on people because you have to move your little uh, center icon directly over them in order to actually call the target. Uh, you can't just be locked onto them and uh, call the target, which is really stupid. But I do pop my smoke here because I'm expecting to farm this guy a little bit more as he does his gamer turn. And then, uh, well, obviously that happens. So... Uh, back to shoot blind shooting destroyers in smoke, though. I want to continue on on that. So, that Sherman, uh, didn't end up being very bright. But, basically, when you pop your smoke, you typically want to avoid, uh, reversing in your smoke. The reason I do it in daring is just because my smoke action time is so short to begin with. Uh, I don't really have, uh, much to accelerate anyway so you know it is what it is but typically you want to avoid reversing because it because it makes you a lot easier to blind shoot in your smoke and when you are blind shooting destroyers in your smoke in uh, another smoke screen you're you kind of have like three different modes that you're going to be in you're going to have a uh, last known position which in the example of that sherman right when he smoked up uh, when he went dark, I knew he was still there because ships can only move so fast. So, uh, you have last known position, you have visual indicators, which is if they're shooting out of their smoke, where are their shells coming from, uh, or if there's like AA tracers or something, which I don't think are very reliable because uh, they changed those a while ago to where they, uh, they appear to be a lot more sporadic than where they actually are like if you drop asw on open sea right the aa is going to come from the ship itself but if you drop a over a smoke screen or asw over a smoke screen rather uh the aa is going to be like all over the place and that's like supposed to be making it harder to blind shoot but you have uh the last known position you have visual indicators and you also have a kabarovsk in your face I'm just going to hit my smoke here. That's the beauty of the daring. You do have these uh, fast reloading smokes. Did took a pretty good uh, chunk of damage there, which is less than ideal. But that Kabarovs is going to be a problem to spot. So that's why I'm not really going to be trying to get a uh, smoke shooting on him. I'm going to just launch some torps out on this C-52 because what I'm expecting is I'm expecting him to turn around and try and hug this island right here right when he goes dark because that's the shortest path to him. I mean, he does have to make a little bit of a U-turn, but it still is the shortest path. And right here, I'm also, yeah, uh, the Kabarovs did end up bagging my Marceau buddy. Uh, sucks to be him. So... His gearing is full health, but he's not in a position to really help me against this Kabarov. So, I'm just holding my fire, and I'm just going to see what happens with this Kabarov. So I think he's going to end up shooting at this Vermont right here, and he's going to get just like, well, yeah. And no dice on those torpedoes, which is unfortunate. But, uh, as it's going to turn out, he is uh, not exactly the brightest tool in the shed. It, as it's going to turn out, he uh, he's actually like right here. He went all the way around those islands and uh, took the long way into B, which to his credit did end up working out for him in the end because he uh, avoided my torpedoes entirely because I launched them down the shortest path that I thought he was going to take. So, you know, I guess it worked out for him. And right here, I'm about to take try and take advantage of this gearing smoke screen, potentially. The Z-52 pops up, and he's turning out. And I think I'm about to spot torpedoes here, which is why I'm turning away from here. There's about to be torpedoes, I think, like, right around there. 
But I'm just uh, gonna sit in this gearing smoke screen and uh, maybe try and get some shots off. Smoke screen's here, so you know, might as well. I'm just gonna pop some torps out uh, in case that Z52 is reversing, because the cap is clearly contested, so he's still right there. But it, as it turns out, he did end up leaving the cap because it is flipping now, so, you know, uh, it's just I wasted two racks of torps there, and now I have to wait another 90 seconds for more, but such is life. And uh, this C-52 right here is about to pop up uh, somewhere over here, I believe, and you're going to see another example of uh, blind shooting destroyers in their smoke. I think I'm being spotted by the submarine there. Yep, that was the submarine spotting me, but, uh... I'm just going to smoke up against the Z-52. That is the strength of these Royal Navy destroyers, is you have so many smokes that have such a short cooldown. And this Z-52 is full speeding out of his smoke, but he is slowing down now. And here you're about to see uh, my what I was talking about. There's last known positions, and we're about to have visual indicators. We're still shooting at last known positions, but he's going to shoot out of his smoke, I believe. No, he's not. I think he's blind at this point, or that Gascon's out of range. But I also was spotted by the sub, which I'm worried about getting shotgunned. I don't want to sit still in that smoke screen because Hydrophone does not notify you when you're being detected by it. Which it should, but it doesn't, which is really stupid. But... Right here is my final kind of mode when I'm going to be shooting at a destroyer. Did I shoot? I'm pretty sure I shot into that smoke. Yeah. No? Man, I played this game yesterday and I already forgot it. But basically, uh, you have a bunch of modes. You have uh, last known position. You have visual indicators, which I've already gone over. And then you have... Uh, reconnaissance by gunfire uh struggled for the words there for a second but basically what that means is uh you know that there's a destroyer in that smoke you know he's in there somewhere so you're just going to blind shoot into it until you may or may not get lucky and land a hit and then from there as soon as you land that hit and you have some idea of where he is or at least the immediate area where he could be then you switch over to a last known position or visual indicators depending on if they're shooting or not so that's a bit of a quick uh, guide i didn't really demonstrate it too too well in this game because i didn't blind shoot them very much beyond like the first like maybe five ish maybe 10 seconds after they went dark but just wanted to give a quick little video that was a decent game in the end by the way but also demonstrates a little bit on how to fight some of these smoked up destroyers uh, and how to get trades on destroyers that have smoked up even if you end up getting out traded because you're spotted and they're not uh, you can still try and get some damage on them depending on the circumstances you can definitely get some damage Maybe even uh, blind shoot them completely out of their smoke and kill them if they're low enough. Which I uh, have done in the past to some very, very salty people. But right now, what I'm looking at is this submarine is right here. And I'm going to just try and run him down. Although, uh, it is a 4501 that does do fucking 40 knots underwater, by the way. And I am obviously in a daring, I don't have a speed boost, and I'm not very fast. So, as soon as I realize that this submarine is just kiting away from me, I'm just like, okay, yep, yeah, that's, uh, I'm not going to catch this guy. I'm just going to go turn south, haul ass, not chase into that sub who's probably going to be lining me up to get shotgunned. And I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to try and get my farm on on this Conqueror and this Zhao. And the 4501 did surface there, but he was kited away, so I did go undetected. And uh, I don't know what those torps were, but, uh, you know. And this Zhao is, uh, I'm about to just smoke up in front of him and try and clap him out with AP when he turns broadside. 
And I did actually slightly misplay this here. I should have waited one more second to uh, for my smoke to cover me. But instead what happened was I got detected for a split second there. And that gave him a last known indicator on the minimap uh, to try and shoot at me. And I ended up uh, getting blind shot when I didn't need to take that risk. So, uh, And that was another example of him shooting at my last known position i was just spotted i and my ship can only move so fast so he knew exactly where i was because it was only been a few seconds and he already had the shot lined up so he just pulled that trigger and if i didn't accelerate there then i honestly run the actually could have gotten one shot in that smoke if that was he and uh i was where i was so anyway that is pretty much it as far as this game is concerned. There, Asashio literally walked like literally all the way around here, by the way, which is really, really good. That's definitely how Asashio is meant to be played. But uh, we do have B cap. We have 970, 998 points right now or whatever. You know, I can't even talk. But that is going to wrap up this game. Uh, it wasn't the perfect example. I ha I do have a, like, a proper smoke shooting tutorial on the channel, by the way. If you want to, uh, if you want to search that. Or, or I might even link it in the description here. Uh, if I remember to. But I just wanted to make this little video as a quick refresher on, uh, blind shooting destroyers. And even though it's not the exact, I didn't get to demonstrate all three different modes as I was describing you at very least saw the uh, last known positions and you can actually get a very surprising amount of damage on some of these destroyers I mean like look at this Sherman right here and look at the uh, Z-52 right there like probably like half of that to each of those destroyers was blind shooting them in their smoke and then there's obviously the Kabarovsk who uh, kind of ran at me a couple of times which was suboptimal Cost me more health than I would have liked, but, you know, it is what it is. So, that is going to be it for today. Uh, this was a, not really tutorial, but kind of a quick refresher on fighting smoked up destroyers. And also how to favorably trade with uh, your own ship. Because if you can manage your consumables properly, especially your smokes, you can really put in some hurt on other destroyers because even if you don't have daring smokes even if you have uh gearing harugamo or uh hell even fucking z52 smokes if you can master the art of uh getting the most out of each smoke charge regardless of what ship it's on you will uh go a long way with uh playing destroyers and also fighting them. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you want me to make a more expansive updated guide on smoke firing destroyers in their smoke. Let me know and I will try and get one out as soon as possible. But until then that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you tomorrow.